This is um, the third progress report of how we're doing with the armoured personnel carrier, the M113. We'd got the tracks and the wheels working and rotating the right way around, and then yesterday I started to play around with the um, texture maps on the side of the uh, M113. And what I found myself doing was, um, as opposed to adding a texture map, um, actually playing around with the uh, just some of the materials. So if I go back to the body up here, just selected. And so I created this kind of material that I put over the, the, the hull of the M113, um, playing around with various number of shapes and the materials in here using uh, Musgrave and various different ramp colors to actually create this effect and applied it then to all the hull and the doors and the other side and the wheels. I tried to add some mud to the tracks. I'd also created the, the grassy uh, shapes just here and added a photograph in the background. I also added a character that you can just see the outline of uh, on on top of the pers armoured personnel carrier. Now this was just a kind of experiment to see what it would be like if I threw one of my own photographs in the background. So it's not correct because there's light obviously coming on this side of the uh, uh, personnel carrier whereas the light obviously should be coming from this way so the shadows should be cast from there across in this direction but they're not being cast in the other. But again it was just an experiment to see what I should try and do. The other thing was that um, uh, once I'd actually rendered out and played it through, I just felt that there needed to be movement in the background and there needed to be a little bit of wind on the grass. So that's another thing I have to try and do. I need the uh, the mud on the tracks are now a little bit too bright, so I need to darken those down. But we're getting fairly close to having a finished shot, I think. And just so you can actually see what this rough looks like. Um, I'll actually get it looping here. Here it is. And in fact, the wheels going up and down uh, gives the sense that there's a slight unevenness of the road. Um, and so that's the shot so far. There was a bit of compositing done inside uh, Blender as well. And that was achieved, if we just go back to here, and go to the compositor. <coughs> Basically, I, I, I'd imported the image and scaled it uh, so it fitted the render size. And then I used a mixer to take the, the actual render of the, uh, of the 3D model, which composites this on top of there. Uh, because there was a slight color difference between this and that, I've, I've done a little bit of color correction, it's not the best, and then just mixed it through so we've got our final image. So again, that's what we've ended up with and there just needs to be a bit more experimentation until we've got the final shot as we want it. Though we can't spend too much more time on it because I've worked out that if I do, um, I'm going to be here for the next two years <laughs> producing this unless I can get some help with some of the animation side of it. So we'll see how it goes. But we're making progress.